Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, California Weather Watch. Today is April 26th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. Here's the Pacific Ocean, Hawaiian Islands, state of California. Check out this cutoff low across the Pacific Ocean here, and you can see the system moving into the Pacific Northwest. If you want to know what's coming downstream, you got to look out way out here past the Aleutian Islands. So this is going to be the energy that eventually develops into the trough off the West Coast of North America. It's going to bring some precipitation for the state of California and drop the temperatures here down below average here as we go on in through next week. So checking things out a little bit closer on the visible satellite imagery, you can see those low clouds starting to burn back as we work through the morning hours. Here you can see some of the fog and some of the valley areas go away. Goes 18 satellite imagery. You just can't beat it here. Shows the nice snowpack across Nevada, portions of Utah, the Sierra Nevada, Northern California as well. This is if you want a home affordable weather station here. Click on the link down below for 10% off. Extremely accurate. Does UV index, ultrasonic anemometer, and the thermometer is quite accurate as well. Solar powered. Stores all the, stores all the data for you on the web also. This is looking National Weather Service Hanford. Check out some of these temperatures. We're going well up into the 90s here as we go through Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Look at Bakersfield upper 90s potentially as we go on into Saturday. This is for some moderate heat risk potential too. You can see it kind of concentrated in the valleys there. Yuba City, Sacramento, Stockton down through Modesto. Nice graphic here from the National Weather Service Sacramento. Here is National Weather Service San Diego and you can kind of see as we warm up here this weekend then we start to drop back down as we go on to next week. We're going to take a detailed look at that here coming up in a moment but you can see palm springs getting up towards 104 degrees there on sunday now here we go two meter temperature anomaly here's the state of california so right now we're just going to bask it in this heat across the state here we go through the weekend then look at the big shift coming as we go on into next week as it virtually the entire state is going to drop below average as we go on into early and mid this upcoming week and look at that just kind of exists all the way on towards next weekend here and maybe bounce back a little bit here but the troughing is not going to be far off here through the extended forecast if you believe the extended range outlook of the model runs anyway this is looking at that cutoff low out over the pacific here we've got this ridging starting to develop along the west coast there we've got a system going through the pacific northwest and we really build this ridge up north into british columbia here the next trough then starts to arrive can impact pacific northwest first and then it will drop down across the state of california look at this it's about 18,000 feet and you can clearly see this trough just developed a lot of cold air aloft right centered on the state of california coming up and this thing is not moving in any kind of a hurry and we're going to potentially keep reinforcing this trough here as we go on in through early May. Now looking at the 500 millibars, 18,000 foot temperatures, there's the cutoff low. Here's the Hawaiian Islands. Cal state of California is right there. And we've got our warm weather here for the next few days, at least through the weekend before this next trough arrives. And you can see this bulk of cold air, this uh, somewhat of a polar lobe here, just kind of dropping down. And look at this thing just spin over the state of California. Multiple rounds of precipitation possible. More on that here in a moment. And you can kind of see the reinforcing cold air, keeping some troughing in the general vicinity here as we go out towards the 10 day period. This is looking at total precipitation in inches. The GFS run hot off the presses, put it into motion. And we're going to go through this weekend pretty dry, as you can see. Now we're moving into Sunday. A little bit of light precipitation starts moving into Northern California, possibly, but not much yet. And the trough starts to set up shop and you can kind of see it spin in the atmosphere here as this continues with some multiple rounds of precipitation here as we go on in through the 10 day period shown about there and yeah, you can see we're no place is safe here except maybe the extreme southeast portion of the state but looks like some decent precipitation about central northern california potentially down into southern california as well this is total precipitation on the european this is yesterday afternoon's control ensemble run and you can see that it really has some totals all the way down through towards the San Diego area even as we go on into early May coming up here. This is looking at 80 meter wind speed. I want to show you this just showing you there is going to be some breezy potential here as this trough sets up over us coming down. You can see the north wind start to pick up here as the trough starts to approach and then you can kind of see the spin in the atmosphere and some breezy conditions especially over places like Nevada some of the higher terrain here. You can see that low pressure system right off the Bay Area here if you believe the GFS at about 156 hours out and you can kind of see this thing spinning around with that multiple rounds of precipitation and potential windy periods. 
This is looking at the GFS. This is six hour precipitation type. We're going to fly ahead to Monday here. And now we're into Monday night, Tuesday morning. You can see that low pressure system right off the Bay Area. Multiple rounds of precipitation like I've been talking about here. Coming across the state as we go on in towards early May. Below average temperatures, of course, associated with that. San Francisco, Thursday probably being the warmest day. Then the gradual cool down here, as you can see, as we go on into next week. This is Sacramento. 90 degree days are going to change into 70 degree days as we go on into next week as well. This is Los Angeles. Probably Saturday, Sunday, the warmest days before that cool down starts to arrive here as we go on into early May. Uh, Las Vegas out here, pretty similar. Look at Sunday, maybe up towards 100 degrees out there. And then you can see the drop back down into maybe the mid and upper 70s here as we go through Wednesday, Thursday. This is Palm Springs, warm until Sunday. Then you'll notice a little bit of drop on Monday and then more of a drop as you get on into next week. Some much more comfortable temperatures there. And current reservoir conditions here, I just like showing this one here. Not much of an update here. Reservoir is doing well around the state. Here we go, California snow water content. Let's see if we can get an update on that. No, looks like that's about it. But we are still dealing with a record snow water equivalent across the southern Sierra Nevada here. Central is just dropped below the record of 82 and 83. And north still doing quite well here, but below that record high amount in 82 and 83. This is like an 8 to 14 day temperature probability outlook here. And you can see much of the state of California included in the below average possibility here. And you can see Central and Southern California even highlighted more. This is 8 to 14 day precipitation probability outlook here. And you can kind of see a lot of the West Coast here in the above average signal. So yeah. That energy back here is going to eventually become the trough as it swings across the Pacific here and sets up shop over California as we go on in through next week. But we've got some warm days in the meantime here. We're melting that snowpack that across that uh, Sierra Nevada there. We're going to increase those rivers and stream flows here. But then we're going to drop back down and we're going to bring some more precipitation. Even some more mountain snow is going to fall. You could get up over a foot for some areas across some of the Sierra Nevada. We'll watch those details come in as we go one day at a time. Hope you guys are having a good day. We'll do this again tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys then.